I really believe that we can decarbonize the steel industry by 2050. For people who are still skeptical about making green steel, I would say we've done it. It's a question of system engineering and scale up in a competitive way. So it will happen. While other sectors may need to convince the marketplace to adopt clean technology, there is already a demand for carbon emission-free steel. Boston Metal has developed a process called molten oxide electrolysis that uses clean electricity to replace many of the steps in the traditional steel making process. There is no lack of demand for green steel today. Take the automotive industry. It doesn't fit to have an electric car that is built with dirty steel. So what are the obstacles that Boston Metal faces? Kara Gibson is plant systems lead at Boston Metal. We are solving complicated problems. There is a need for us to do that very quickly. We have to be willing to iterate quickly, learn from our mistakes, and move on as fast as possible. Given that we only have a few decades to reach net zero emissions, the timeline for making carbon emission-free steel is key. Once we go commercial by 2026, 2025, the application of our technology and the adoption will be very fast. In a sector where it has been historically difficult to reduce emissions, the breakthrough technologies of carbon emission-free steel could have a substantial impact in our efforts to reach net zero by 2050.